Okay, today we are looking at a Toro Recycler 22 inch lawnmower, self propelled, personal pace. I do not know where I got this lawnmower. <laughs> Somebody gave it to me, picked it up on the side of the road, I don't remember. Um, but we're going to find out if it's worth getting it to run. Let's take a look at a model number. There you go, it's 20332. Put the plug in there for mulching. And I think the first thing we're going to do is check the oil. And uh, got a spark plug. Uh, a little bit of gas in there. It looks kind of yellowish though. That's not good. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do a compression test on this to find out if it's even worth looking into. Spark plug is in pretty good shape. Let's find out which one of these will work. That'll work. Only about 80. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Yeah, still no better. Alright. I'm going to go. I'm going to give it a little shot of starting fluid, just see what happens, see if it'll pop up, off. that brand new air filter Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> anyway, the self propelled doesn't work, but I can kind of hear the belt squealing in there when I try to engage the blade. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is clean this thing up, uh, freshen it up with some fresh oil, um, check the cables and so on, and get this thing mowing grass. All right, let's take a look underneath and see what we got for a blade. Ooh, I can see the blade needs to be replaced. So, that's kind of a no-brainer. This is pretty worn out. This is really thin up here. Classic's cracked a little bit here. Also, I think the belt is pretty crusty looking, so uh, we'll get that fixed too. Let's go get a new belt, a new blade. 
All right, so as I'm examining this thing to find out what's needed to make it go again, I was about ready to replace the belt when I noticed that the uh, the wheel up here is spinning freely, and you see the gear inside is not it's supposed to be meshing with another gear right there, but that's missing. And the case down here too, and look at this. This whole thing is just loose. So somebody basically made this self-propelled lawnmower into a non-self-propelled lawnmower. And I'm not going to take the time to buy all the parts to make it happen again. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to remove this whole thing, the belt and everything. And we're just going to make this a, a push lawnmower and get rid of that self-propelled unit. You might be thinking to yourself, well, why don't you just leave it alone? We'll see what happens. This thing is, this thing is moving back and forth. It catches on that wheel. So, and, and I know it's lean, you know, <laughs> it's on its side, but who knows if that'll wander over while you're mowing grass with it. So, I'll also just take this whole thing out and get rid of it. The belt is off here as well. So, we're just going to get rid of all that. All right, let's sing. Let's take this wheel off. Oh wow! I don't know how that's all mounted on there, but I think we're gonna have to take this off as well to free it from this axle or I could just cut the axle Cable still connected. All right. All we gotta do is uh, we gotta get the, the cable off of that thing. We're just gonna really cut this thing up. with this yeah knipix to the rescue all right let's clean this up a little bit all right so this thing is just hanging on there you go I cut the cable and it came right off so we're just gonna toss this whole thing Put the wheel back on. Oop.
let's get rid of this cable here. What's left of it. Just the housing, really. Pull that out of there. And now this is broken. So we'll put a little zip tie on here. I think uh, we're just about done with the self-propelled delete on this thing. All right, so the cable and the axle and the belt and everything's been removed, so it, it rolls pretty easily. But of course, you have to hold this down while you're mowing. So you've still got this going on. That could be irritating. So the question is, how can we stop that from moving? I'm thinking just a self-tapping screw on either side somewhere in here just to hold this in place so it never moves again let's see what I got all right let's see if this will work make sure it's all the way up I got some self-tapping sheet metal screws here I'm gonna get it into the handle handlebar here It's gonna hit the metal. Starting now. Here we go. Get another one up here for good measure. two on the other side. Take a quick mow around the yard here, and if everything works good, we'll slap a new blade on her, change the oil, and get her to mowing. capability take that off of there and with the right blade should be mulching so not the uh, lightest lawnmower to push around but it's a mower for somebody who's looking for a cheap mower so I'll get a new blade on there and maybe put this thing up for sale all right thanks for watching